just when we thought that the Doom 64 news has gone completely silent, we get a big case of deja vu because it looks like the exact same thing has happened again to what happened in July 2019. So if you don't already know, in July of course we got Doom 1, 2 and 3. But a game that was also rated didn't show up, which of course is Doom 64. And Doom 64 was rated for PlayStation 4. Which is very random because of course there was no news or even talk about this by id or Professor that that was going to get Doom 64. And of course it's not one of the main titles really so it was kind of a shock to see this actually show up. But after thinking about it and doing some research of course it did make sense. But that was July so that's almost two months ago and there's been no talk, news or anything about it since. And this made people to start to disbelieve it. Some people are saying, well, why has there not actually been anything mentioned of this right about now? My best bet was maybe if it does exist, of course, because we still don't 100% know if this exists. There's been no official statement. But if it does, my best bet is that it's been delayed for some reason. Maybe a special event. Maybe it's going to be released for something else. Maybe something like Plutonia or even PlayStation 1 Doom will come along with it as well. I don't know. But maybe they delayed it for a specific reason. Up until now, there has been no further evidence to back up that Doom 64 is coming to modern consoles. And that all changed just a few days ago when, yet again, it seemed to be a case of deja vu and Doom 64 has been rated again for modern consoles. And this time it comes from Australia causing the potential leak. Let's have a look at this. Okay, and here it is on the website. First of all, the information shown seems to be pretty legit to me, at least most of the way. We have, of course, the publisher being Bethesda, we've got Semimax there, computer games, it's a horror themes as well, which is true because it's Doom 64 and of course the violence. Everything seems pretty well done to me. It even has the author being Midway Games, which is quite interesting. If this is real, which the link I use seems to be real and it just this is still up on the website to this day, so this one, unlike the other one, has not been taken down, then this has to be strong evidence to see that Doom 64 is or at least was a thing and it was going to be released on the modern consoles. Because like I said a minute ago, maybe this has not been mentioned or announced anywhere because it was a last minute cancelization by Bethesda because of maybe something like legal issues or something along the way which stops them from using Doom 64 or maybe they just cancelled it because I didn't think it was worthy because you know Doom 1 and 2 have been having sound issues maybe Doom 64 was a lot more noticeable in them games as well or maybe they cancelled it or maybe like I said they've actually pushed this back to a later date to release it with something or just a specific milestone or a date for Doom 64 maybe I don't know but yet again we seem to be in the same situation where Doom 64 is being rated again and this time it's funny how it says multi-platform and not just PlayStation 4 which suggests of course Switch, Xbox One and PC are likely all going to get this and of course it might actually mean that this will be released officially for PC because obviously at the minute it's just for Nintendo 64 although there are Doom 64 conversions and stuff already on PC but this will be the first official PC port of Doom 64 and of course that same goes for PlayStation 4, Xbox One and Switch I mean, it still seems a huge shock to see something like Doom 64 even being considered for something like PlayStation or even Xbox because obviously it was for Nintendo 64 only but as I said in my video last time it's not a completely random idea it's not a completely just made up on the spot idea you can actually see or you can actually believe that something like this could exist because there's just so much evidence actually in the Doom Eternal build up that suggests that this is real and as I said in the previous video it's stuff like all the times they've mentioned Doom 64 they've mentioned Doom 64 a lot when discussing Doom Eternal right away back from that Quake Con 2018 gameplay when I started to show the zombie men and actually mention Doom 64 
actually at the QuakeCon presentation itself. The Zombie Man was actually a huge inspiration for them when designing the new one in Doom Eternal. So they've had Doom 64 along the way the whole time. They mention it pretty much everywhere on the Slayers Club. There's always Doom 64 being mentioned in articles, top fives, etc. So maybe they've been hinting us this whole time that yes, this exists and they have been hinting us that we will be working on it. And I do believe that. I do really hope that Doom 64 is coming back to modern consoles. And it, it will be a huge shock, but it'll be a great one. And if it does exist, then I'd be first in line to buy it because I love that game so much. And of course, that even opens up more possibilities for the future, like Plutonia, TNT, PlayStation 1 Doom. All of these could be appearing on a modern console one day. As for Doom 64, I'm pretty sure at this point that this is a thing, or at least was a thing, because there just seems to be so much talk from Bethesda's side about Doom 64 or its side, and of course all these random ratings that are showing up, then it just seems to me that somewhere along the line Doom 64 is, or was at least, supposed to be released. And that's awesome. I really do hope that it is a thing and it hasn't been cancelled. Hopefully we get an official statement coming up soon now that we're getting all these different reviews and of course don't take this as 100% concrete evidence because you never know this could be a mistake, people could have rated it wrong or maybe it's a hoax altogether. You just have to take it lightly I guess and when you get that official statement by Bethesda or id or even just a little teaser that's when you know it should be coming. Of course at this point it is just leaks, theories or even predictions of what it is. It's like anything that you could see could be 100% real or it could be fake or even just misinformation. But what do you guys think? Do you think that Doom 64 is real and do you think it's coming or do you think maybe it's been deleted or never existed in the first place? Let me know in the comments down below and I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.